Welcome to weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. A DJI release, we have a UVSI caught in lie, and then a, an update on the man who flew over the NFL game in Maryland. Let's get to it. First off, DJI has a few rumors out there for future releases. We talked about the possible uh, Avada 2 last week. And then this week we have a, an event coming up on March 26. It's called Easy Operation Superior Results. Uh, there has been leaks online suggesting that this could be a DJI Dock 2 with a Matrice 3D and a 3DT drone. The Dock 2 and the new Matrice series drones popped up on the FCC database in February, and uh, we haven't seen any updates since, but rumors put the Dock at about uh, $10,000, but they don't discuss the price of the actual drones. Uh, the leak specs would be a 15-minute flight time for the Matrice 3D series, a wind resistance up to 27 miles an hour, and a maximum take of weight of 1610 uh, grams, which is uh, pretty decent. Pretty cool for enterprise consumers and public safety. We'll let you know when we hear more. Obviously, next week we'll have the final uh, as the event releases. Second story this week, and once again, AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, find themselves in hot waters for their push to ban DJI drones, specifically those used for public safety agencies nationwide. In a recent webinar discussing drone bans, AUVSI's new co-CEO, Michael Robbins, aggressively defended AUVSI's stance by saying, AUVSI does not, and I repeat, does not support efforts that would bring about an immediate ban on Chinese drones. And nothing AVSI is supporting would bring about any immediate ban or immediate end to the use of PRC drones by public safety. But Drone Excel uncovered evidence of the contrary using a FOIA request or equivalent in the state of Utah it has a different name there. Um, in the document that was uncovered, AUVSI's manager of government affairs expressed their support for prohibition on the purchase of unmanned aircraft manufactured and assembled by covered entities. So the bill here in question that AUVSI is in favor of would be SB 135, which is proposed by Utah Senator Wayne Harper, which would, guess what? Ban the purchase or operation of Chinese drones for public entities in Utah. And guess when? Well, right when the bell becomes effective, AKA an immediate ban. So big oops here, uh, a lot of uh, con contradictory information, unfortunately coming from uh, AUVSI. We'll put a link down to the article, go watch the full replay of the webinar. It's actually very insightful uh, if you're interested in a Chinese drone ban and then the seemingly overreach of the uh, different states across the country, uh, preventing public safety agencies from using the best tool available. You'll get a better understanding of where these bans are coming from. Last up this week is an update on the drone flyover uh, of an NFL game earlier this year. Matthew Hebert allegedly flew a drone over and around the stadium, causing a delay during the first quarter of the game. Uh, police quickly located the guy uh, who claimed ignorance of the TFR and then relied on a drone's remote control app for guidance. He cooperated fully with the investigation and was sentenced to one year of probation and a $500 fine. And that's it. That's all we have for you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week on Monday for the live. And if you're in the community, uh, we have a special event uh, on Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific. So make sure you join us. What's the rumors with the, for the dock? I did not stumble upon rumors a few times. Bye. Rumor puts the drone dock. Guess what? Rumor puts the dock at a... B What's the rumors? What's up, doc? What's up, doc? Is that, where, is that what you want me to say? Guess what? Uh, rumor has it that the dock would be priced at around $10,000. And rumor puts the drone dock, and it probably looks like I had a, a stroke, but no. <laughs>